can you believe I'm wearing an outfit like this in England? I have bloody flip flops on. When do you ever need to wear flip flops in England? It's really, really hot right now. So I haven't done a what I ate today in a while, a long, long time, probably like over a month. But yeah, I have a few cool things to update you on. I'll make it quick because I know my intros are always ridiculously long. I've just got my eggs cooking on the stove. I'm boiling them today. Sometimes I scramble them, sometimes I fry them. Today I want to boil them. I haven't had eggs in like a while. I don't have them every day like I used to. Because obviously I clean in the mornings, so I have like a late breakfast slash lunch and then I'll have another big snack slash lunch later. I still eat just as much, it's just at different times of the day. I know I always say that but I feel like I have to say it every video because I still get comments saying what did you have for breakfast when I explained at the very beginning of the video that I don't have breakfast like at the typical time and I don't have like typical breakfast food. Like I don't skip it, I still eat as much food but yeah. I also at the moment always have a bowl of cereal at the end of the day like at midnight so that's kind of like you know makes up for it anyway and then my bar work I've been doing a lot of extra shifts at the moment because um I'm saving up you know to go traveling I that's always what I want to that's what I'm always going to be doing at the moment is just you know saving my money for the next trip there's always going to be an next trip at the moment I am going to Greece in three weeks time, which I can't believe I'm saying that. I got back from Italy three weeks ago and I'm going to Greece in three weeks. Like, I'm very lucky that I get to do this. I'm going to Crete, which is the biggest Greek island. And yeah, it's going to be really, really good. Um, then obviously I want to go to LA after that and then I want to go to Canada. They're my next two goals that I'm thinking about. I haven't started planning them much yet. I've been thinking a bit about LA. And it's good because, you know, if I ever go somewhere long for a long period of time, I can take my music and my bar work with me and I can still film when I'm out there as well so I can get a bar job and still do performances so that's what I'm doing this morning I'm going to plan a bit of travel uh, maybe reply to some DMs I'm going to sit out in the garden with my breakfast slash lunch I'm just going to sit in the garden eat my breakfast um, I got some bits to do on my phone reply to some DMs um, from you guys on Instagram I've got a lot that I need to reply to I am not happy if satisfied if I just go somewhere and just sit on the beach for a week like that's not why I go abroad I do it to explore so that I can see more of the world you know really get a feel for the country all the island and stuff like that that's why I want to go to LA in Canada well California um, I don't think I'll stay in LA but I'll stay very near it and I'll visit it because you know there's a lot of nature places and there's a lot of explore trails like back roads in LA and all the nature I mean Canada's just full of nature hills grass I have it kind of reminds me a bit of Oxfordshire which is where I live and then I'm also going to the cinema tonight so I probably won't film any of that I know sometimes I might do a little montage to make the smoothie different but it tastes like nicer than my usual smoothies like it tastes really sweet like it got yogurt in it or something but it doesn't it's probably my outro milk to be fair i think i used the unsweetened almond one for this one kiki no I'm just watching some friends and I'm trying to plan um, some of the travel for Greece. We want to stay in two places. Um, we fly in 
here and then we fly out there just searching where all the gorges are all the nature trails stuff like that so that i can narrow it down to two places because these are just the three places that i've noticed have you know gorges and walks and stuff that i want to go on so i've done a bit of planning for crete um i think i know where i think would be best to stay the two places i just need to um talk about it with my mum let her know so we can book it but i'm feeling really unproductive because i've just been on the sofa like on my phone and just googling stuff and watching netflix uh, so I kind of like want to get out of the house but I don't really know what I want to do because I'm also feeling just tired and lazy I think I'm just going to try and do some stuff around the house I need to tidy my room and practice my set list and I want to snack now but I have no idea what I want we don't seem to have a lot of snack foods so that's one thing that I like to struggle with I just don't know what to eat for snacks I could have a yoghurt I guess or oh, I can have sausages for dinner tonight I'm going to have a yoghurt and something else as well, maybe a cereal bar because I'm hungry. And then I'm going to have an early tea tonight. I want to have my tea before I go to the cinema. I'm going to have one of these Jordan's Fruisley bars. Juicy blueberries, one of these. And a uh, summer fruit from Ashfray. Apricot, peach, raspberry, strawberry. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. See, if we had, like, bread in the house, I'd have um, a slice of pate bread, because we have pate, but I don't think we have any bread at all. I've pretty much just been, like, money planning, bookkeeping, uh, stuff like that. Since the last time I spoke to you, uh, I ate my snacks. I'm now just about to make my dinner. Then I'll get ready for... Uh, the cinema and I'll leave uh, when I get back I think I need to practice my set list well I do need to practice my set list sorry about that my mum rang me it's just been one of those days I've been non-stop but I haven't got my main things done like I wanted to either film a cover today or practice my set list you know stuff like that what do you mind I'm trying to film a video here stupid inconsiderate fly I'm just about to have dinner I don't really have a preference, so if I don't have a preference, I'll go for the healthier option, because, like, why not? Um, but yeah, I noticed that I hadn't had white rice in ages, and I saw it on the shelf. I was like, I want that. I almost said in my head, oh no, I can't, because it's white, but I was like, that would be creating a fear food, so I'm going to have it for the exact reason. So, I decided to have it, to make sure that it's not a fear food, you know? If you get used to, like, you know, eating certain foods because it's healthier, it's the healthy option, it can be kind of scary going back to, like, you know... The option that's not the healthiest, but you know, it doesn't mean it's unhealthy or it's like any less good for you to eat. And then here's my rice. Basmati rice. Basma basmati? Basmati. Serves one to two persons as a snack or as part of a meal. If something usually says serves three to four people, I will eat it on my own as part of a meal. I think I've got to go upstairs and start getting ready because I think I'm getting collected in 45 minutes. So I'm going to start getting ready to make sure that I'm not late because a nice snug is always late. That's my second name by the way. Does anyone even know that on here? I use my, my middle name which is Laura because it's less embarrassing. Look at my life right now. Um, I would usually put some vegetables with this um, and I mean, I would cut my sausages. Sorry for the bad lighting, there's not really anything I can do because it's late at night and does that help? Not really. Um, and only two of my lights work out of the six bulbs that I have. Um, I've just got back from the cinema. Um, Spider-Man 2 film is bloody good. Go and watch it if you have the chance. I didn't think I'd like it that much. Like, I do like adventure kind of things, but it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I thought I would kind of do, like, 
a cut down version of my nighttime routine. I don't really have, I mean, I do have a nighttime routine, um, but you know, it's nothing special, it's nothing crazy. It's just kind of get ready, exercise, have a snack, and go to bed, plan some travel, whatever. But I thought I'd show you what kind of stuff I use, um, in what order I do them, and stuff like that. I had some Cadbury chocolate buttons and some Twirl Bites at the cinema. Um, bought them from Sainsbury's beforehand and, and hid them in my bag, of course, because I'm not paying £3.50 for a bag when I can pay £1. Thank you, Sainsbury's. First thing I do is I take my makeup off, because in this weather, I'm going to be spotty tomorrow. Yay. When it's warm weather, I always break out if I've been wearing makeup, which is why I never usually wear makeup in this weather. I have really sensitive skin, so I just use normal... Um, <coughs> natural, suitable for all skin types, all sensitive skin um, wipes. Never wear skin makeup at the moment. I always wear like eye mascara and um, brow makeup, like if I'm working stuff, but never skin at the moment. I don't know why. I'm just going through a stage where I really like hardly wearing any makeup. Garnier Skin Active, basically micellar water. Big cotton pads will save your life. That's after a makeup wipe. Definitely don't just use makeup wipes for your skin. Use um, a cleanser as well. What? I've lost my hand sanitizer, otherwise I would clean my hands before I touch my face. But I'm just, you know, gonna have to do it anyway. I'm usually cruelty free, but um, because I buy all of these products so often, I have to use like the cheap stuff. It's so much easier and, you know, with all my saving for travel and stuff, I can't really afford financially and just hassle-wise to find a vegan, like vegan alternatives and cruelty-free alternatives for these kind of products, which is annoying. <clears throat> and one day I will. But these are the very few products that I actually use that aren't cruelty-free. Oh, also, pat your skin, don't rub it. Because rubbing it gives you wrinkles. I'm really hungry and I feel like I need some energy. So I'm going to have my cereal bar. 